How does your brain, a network of billions of neurons firing electrical signals, create the feeling of joy when you see a loved one? How does it conjure the taste of dark chocolate or the smell of rain? This is the crux of the hard problem of consciousness. It's the question of how physical matter can give rise to the subjective inner world of experience. We can map brain activity. We can see neurons firing when we experience specific sensations, thoughts or emotions. But this only scratches the surface. It explains the easy problems of consciousness, how the brain processes information and controls behavior. The hard problem goes deeper. It asks why these physical processes are accompanied by subjective experience at all. Why is there something it is like to be conscious? Why aren't we just complex robots processing data without an inner world of feeling and awareness? The term hard problem of consciousness was coined by philosopher David Chalmers. He drew a clear distinction between the easy and hard aspects of understanding the mind. The easy problems, while complex, are ultimately solvable through scientific investigation. They involve understanding the neural mechanisms behind functions like perception, memory and language. The hard problem, however, delves into the very essence of subjective experience. This experience is known as qualia, the individual instances of subjective qualitative feeling. Qualia are the redness of red, the bitterness of coffee, the pang of grief, the warmth of love. The hard problem asks why and how these qualia arise from physical processes. It challenges us to bridge the gap between the objective world of neurons and the subjective world of feeling. Imagine a world identical to ours in every physical detail. The trees are the same shade of green, the sky the same blue. People go about their days, their brains processing information, controlling their actions. But in this world there is no subjective experience, there is no feeling of the greenness of trees or the blueness of the sky. This is the concept of the philosophical zombie. The philosophical zombie thought experiment highlights the explanatory gap that lies at the heart of the hard problem. We can imagine a being physically identical to us, behaving in the same way, yet lacking the inner light of consciousness. This suggests that consciousness might be something more than just the sum of physical processes. Section 4. Bridging the Gap Theories of Consciousness Many theories attempt to bridge the explanatory gap. Some, like dualism, propose that mind and matter are fundamentally different substances. This view, championed by René Descartes, suggests that consciousness exists in a separate realm, interacting with the physical world. Others, like physicalism or materialism, argue that everything, including consciousness, is ultimately physical. Mental states are seen as nothing more than brain states, and consciousness is a product of complex information processing. Modern neuroscience has made strides in mapping brain activity to conscious states. The discovery of Neural Correlates of Consciousness, NCC, has provided insights into the neural processes underlying specific experiences. Theories like Integrated Information Theory, IIT and Global Workspace Theory GWT, attempt to explain how consciousness arises from the interaction of different brain regions. Aitoyoti proposes that consciousness is a measure of a system's ability to integrate information. GWT suggests that consciousness arises from a global workspace in the brain where information is broadcast and made available for processing. Section 5 can science solve the unsolvable? Despite these advances, the hard problem remains stubbornly elusive. While we can correlate brain activity with conscious experience, we still struggle to explain why this correlation exists. Why does a particular pattern of neural firing feel like something? Some speculate that consciousness might be a fundamental property of the universe, like space or time. This view, known as panpsychism suggests that even seemingly inert matter possesses a basic form of consciousness. Others wonder if artificial intelligence with its increasing complexity might one day achieve true consciousness. This raises profound ethical questions about the rights and moral status of conscious machines. Future scientific breakthroughs, perhaps in quantum physics or a yet undiscovered field, might provide new insights into the nature of consciousness. However, it's also possible that the hard problem might forever remain beyond the reach of scientific inquiry. Section 6. Consciousness, a universe of questions. 
The hard problem of consciousness is a profound mystery, challenging our understanding of the mind, the brain, and the very nature of reality. It forces us to confront the limits of our current scientific knowledge and to consider the possibility that some aspects of existence might be beyond our grasp. While the hard problem might never be definitively solved, grappling with it can lead to a deeper appreciation for the wonder of subjective experience. It can inspire us to explore the uncharted territories of the mind and to question our assumptions about the nature of reality. The hard problem is a call to explore, to question and to marvel at the extraordinary fact that we, collections of atoms bound by physical laws, experience the universe from a unique and personal perspective. It is a reminder that the greatest mysteries are often those closest to home, hidden within the depths of our own conscious minds. As we journey through the mysteries of consciousness, we are reminded that the quest for understanding is as important as the answers we seek. Each question we ask, each theory we explore, brings us closer to unraveling the enigma of our own minds. Though the hard problem of consciousness may remain unsolved, it opens doors to new realms of thought and discovery. In the end, the pursuit of knowledge is a testament to our boundless curiosity and our desire to comprehend the universe and our place within it. Every step we take in this journey is a step towards greater insight, empathy and wonder. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our channel. Do you think we'll ever truly understand how consciousness works? Let us know in the comments below.